Thank you, Honourable Chairperson. It is my submission to this House that nothing will change until such a time that the leaders of women that are sitting in this House shift the way we do things. Nothing will change. We will come here, we will speak, we will be partisan, but we will fail to leave a legacy like the women in 1956. We have to change the way we do things. We have to unite in heart because without it, we are never going to change this country. Things will change when we show up together with activists and, advoca and advocacy groups at police stations where there are no kids, rape kids. Things will change when we show up together as women, regardless of what our party regalia is, then things will change. But until such a time, we will give speeches, we will do what we did here today, and nothing will change. It's up to us to become the leaders that a generation that has been waiting for. Honorable Chair, today I want to welcome with me here in the house, Bronwyn Litke from SA Women Fight Back, an online community of over 250,000 women who are harnessing their collective power to fight against gender-based violence. <clears throat> violence against women and children is symptomatic of a fractured society and the breakdown of the nuclear family. Economic disparity and inequality sustained by systemic failures in our health, education, and justice system perpetuates the seemingly never-ending cycle of violence that is gripping this nation. Reciting it doesn't change it. It is the hearts of men that changes the systems that they govern or manage over. The reality today is that 26 years after the advent of democracy, mourning has not yet broken for millions of South African women. We are our mother's daughters, us here in this house. My mother taught me the courage, both in her life and in her death. She walked out of a relationship with an abusive man with two teenage girls and a young toddler. Her boldness would cost her years of hardship economically of living on a farm and being evicted after 30 years, then living in a shack with the sand on the ground as a floor. I would only see my father again after 30 plus years in his coffin. My mother had many mantras, among them were, a woman never lets her children go hungry, and muni opaman for for yo morani. She worked as a domestic and sold clothes on weekends. Today, I know that it had cost her every ounce of resilience, but also that a great humility was born out of a deep suffering. There are millions of Betty Annie Rexes out there, abandoned economically and forced to live a life of terrible hardship. We are their daughters. We know their stories. We now become their voices. Everything rises and falls on leadership is a quote by John Maxwell. In the book of Esther, the uncle of the young queen says to her, in the midst of a crisis that face, faces her people's very existence, he says to her, who knows if you did not come to this place of influence for such a time as this. Our society is caught in a cycle of violence, helplessness and apathy in the face of this crisis are the biggest obstacles to changing the narrative and the story of both the current and the next generation of women. We cannot call evil good and good evil and believe that our nation will prosper. Gender-based violent, uh, violence hides in the silent voices in the face of sexual, mental, and economic exploitation of women and the children they raise. The sexual abuse of children is a silent pandemic, and the linkage between sexually explicit material and the role of pornography in perpetrating violence is missing from the national strategic plan. We cannot, in the face of escalating violence against women and children, ignore the research available that points to that, to that link. 
Further, we cannot ignore that most women are homeless and without a place to call their own, putting them at the mercy of benefactors, many times at emotional and as physical cost. As you conclude, cost. Member Sukers. Lastly, Chairperson, as leaders, I want to address this House. We must recognize the time. And just like Esther, consider that we came to a place of influence for such a time as this. Let the daughters of women who live through oppression of the worst kind, let them show leadership and ensure that the measure of our leadership is in our actions. I thank you. Thank you, Member Sukers.